The following video contains strong language and adult content matter. Viewer discretion is advised. We at YouTube also apologize for Scott McGoldrick's strong opinions. A gay guy getting emotionally involved in strangers' relationship issues. Typical. If you hear noise in the background, that's Tyler, the dog. He is snoring like a motherfucker. He snores like a grown-ass 80-year-old man. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start this brand new little, let's just call it a series, called Poor Advice. I know I'm a genius. Instead of poor advice, I'm calling it poor advice because when I am giving out this advice, I am gonna be wearing my face mask, etc. It's time for poor advice when I'm done. So that means I can do this weekly, so it's like a serious yeah feel. I'm currently wearing no makeup because I'm just about to put on a mask right now. So I'm going to take questions and advice things from popular advice columns, like Dear Deirdre and Dear Blah Blah Blah. You catch my drift? So I'm going to read out the advice they've been asking for to just let's say Dear Deirdre, for example, who is Sun newspaper columnist. You know what I mean? She's like an agony aunt. I'm just going to answer agony aunt advice questions and I'm going to give my take on what my advice would be to some of these agony and questions. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So I'm gonna do this weekly, I think, I hope, I pray, and we are gonna just do some poor advice, motherfucker. And we're gonna do like new masks weekly, I think, as well. I'm gonna try out new face masks, etc. So, best of both worlds. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I'm just gonna try and join now. So let's get started. I'm gonna go and grab a mask. I am wearing the L'Oreal Glow Mask. My last video was a massive failure. That's why this is happening right now. But for now, since I'm waiting for this mask to dry, I thought it'd be a fun idea. Sorry, I just realized I'm not wearing a fucking top. Can you see my tits? As long as you can't see my tits, it's fine. Because I think you should may have a problem with that and also because they're a bit big right now. I need to see off the kebabs. So I've got my phone here and we are going to answer some agony ant questions. Some of them are cray cray. I had a stupid night of drunken sex with an ex, but should I admit to a fear? Yes, because if you've done it once and think you can get away with it with no repercussions, your drunken brain may and go do it again thinking the outcome is going to be the exact same. So I think you probably should tell her because that's not fair. She's lying at home waiting on you while you're out getting pissed on a weekend. She's at home thinking you're in love, everything's dandy, and you just go with your ex. I'm sorry, I don't know what your drunken brain was thinking. A lot of people say alcohol is not an excuse. No, it is an excuse because we have all done a lot of shit on alcohol that we would never do sober, ever. So let's just cut the bullshit. Alcohol is a big factor when it comes to a lot of bad mistakes and we can all put our hands up and admit that yeah, we fucked up. Alcohol did have a big part to play in it, but I also still did it, I was there, so it is my fault. The truth always comes out of the dark. It can come out in three months from now or three years, but it's still always gonna come out, trust me. And that may make it worse the longer you wait. That can make it completely worse. And trust me, she will know something's up with the way you're acting. Unless you really don't give a shit, you are gonna be acting weird all week after that experience with an ex, you're going to be acting so funny and people pick up in that. So she probably already knows something's going on. You better tell her what it is just before she finds out from someone else and shit hits the fan and she may kick the living shit out of you. I mean, I would personally just cut off your balls. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, okay? There's loads of reasons why people cheat and I totally understand that, but for me personally, I mean, I wouldn't really care if someone cheated on me, but at the same time, as long as it's not in my bed. I'm a weirdo, I am very emotionally unavailable. I think sex is very complex, I believe. I really do believe that we're not meant to be monogamous for the rest of our lives with one person. No, I just don't believe that. So I do know cheating is a thing. It happens all the time. It could be to the housewife or the kid in school. Like, we all get cheated on or we sometimes have cheated. I have cheated in the past, I have been cheated on. You either hope your partner doesn't get hurt emotionally or it doesn't screw up their head for the rest of their life when it comes to having relationships with other people because 
one time, one slip up, that can do it for someone for the rest of their life. They can have emotional problems forever because they've given their heart and soul to someone and that other person just stomped on it. Personally, I believe that's why I'm so emotionally unavailable today. But I do still believe you should tell your girlfriend that you cheated because at the end of the day, it will come out. It kind of sucks that you've done it with your ex as well. I would never be able to go over that, I don't think. That's that's a weird situation. Why why an ex? Why your ex? I mean, I would go round to that ex's house right enough and fucking... She knew she was doing wrong. You knew you were doing wrong. It's just disgusting and not fair. <gasps> oh my god. Dear Deirdre, I cheated on my boyfriend with countless men and now I'm bedding three colleagues. Bitch, get single. Like seriously, be single. Do not keep dragging that your boyfriend along. That's disgusting. Countless men. It's not just one ex. This is countless men. This is countless men and three colleagues. Your boyfriend has no clue you're going to work and getting banged by the printer guy and then getting banged by your boss and then banged by the janitor. What the f- You could be passing anything on to your partner. You could be passing on any STI and this is what I hate as well. Straight people, it's almost like they just assume that it's only gay guys that get STIs. Go get checked ASAP because do not trust any single person you're sleeping with. I don't care how long you've known them. Unless you have proof that two of you are clean, do not be barebacking that shit because it's not just pregnancy that happens, there's other stuff that can happen. Even gonorrhea is nothing to laugh at, it's still gonorrhea. And you could be passing on anything to your man at home who has no clue. That's not fair. I really do think you want your cake and you want to eat it too, but you're wasting your time and your partner's time. Your partner could be thinking about popping the question, thinking you are madly in love. But little does he know that you're out there getting gang banged. I mean, not in that sense, but you know what I mean? They're getting banged by like loads of guys or girls, I don't know. And then when they come home, they're making love to their cheating partner, etc. And there's just a big massive storm of some holy fucking bullshit. Tell your partner that you do not want to be with them because I don't care what you say, you clearly don't want to be with your partner if you're cheating that many times, countless times, with numerous men, especially from your work, etc. It's not the fact that you've just cheated with a stranger, you've cheated with people from your work who you see on a daily basis. That's what's going to hurt him the most. You need to tell him ASAP. <laughs> Are you happy with yourself? If you have cheated more than one time, I'm sorry, but then that's that's enough to just cut it there because that's no that shows no respect, no loyalty and truly no love. Either have an open relationship or just don't have a relationship at all. If you think there's a possibility you're gonna cheat, you need to talk to your partner and communicate and understand why is there a reason that you want to cheat. Does that make sense? I don't know, I feel as if I'm just fucking done with this conversation already. <sighs> This agony ad just gets you boiled up. But for now guys, I'm gonna go because I've already recorded long enough. I think I've left this mask on a little bit too long as well. I hope I gave some good advice, some good honest advice. I don't care if you didn't like it, the truth hurts, okay? Y'all are some horny motherfuckers, I'm telling you. I just feel so sorry for those partners. Cheating can fuck up someone's brain for the rest of their life. So it's unbelievable what it can do. So please, please don't cheat on your partner. Communicate with your partner and hopefully you can sort it out. Either go to sex parties together, maybe have an old relationship, or think of something like a fucking timetable where you can cheat and he can cheat on or just have amazing mind blown sex, tell them your fetishes etc and hopefully you'll get your kicks that way, um, I don't know. I'm gonna go take this face off and then watch the last episode of Team Wolf and fix all this and get rid of the lights etc. Look at that double chin man, I really need to get a grip of myself. This exercise is really good for double chins. Look like a fucking gummy granny. Gumji granny, sorry. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my do- Anyway, thank you- Anyway, thank- <laughs> What the fuck was that? That was like I was on a loop. I need water, I'm getting so dehydrated, I'm so high. All my links are down below guys, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it and I love you big much. Be sure to hit subscribe and like and all that other stuff, okay? And if you've got any agony and questions, let me know, email me, Snapchat, I don't care, just find a way to contact me, okay? And I will do my best to give you the hardcore honest truth, even if it hurts. <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys, love ya!